Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there was a little girl with beautiful golden hair. Her name was Goldilocks. One morning, Goldilocks decided to go exploring in the woods. Soon, she came to a little house. The door was open, and Goldilocks peeped inside. Hello? she called out, but there wasn't any answer. Goldilocks walked straight in. Inside, there were three bowls of porridge set out on a table. The porridge smelled good, and Goldilocks decided to try some. Goldilocks picked up a spoon and tasted the porridge in the very big bowl. Ow! It was too hot! Next, she tasted the porridge in the medium-sized bowl. Yuck! It was too sweet! Finally, she tasted the porridge in the little bowl. Mmm, it was yummy, and she quickly ate it all up. Then, Goldilocks saw three chairs, and she decided she would sit down. First, she sat in the very big chair. Ouch! It was too hard. Next, she sat in the medium-sized chair. Oh, it was too soft. Finally, she sat in the little chair. It seemed just right, but it wasn't. Goldilocks was far too heavy, and the little chair broke. Oh, dear, she exclaimed. Then, Goldilocks went into the bedroom where there were three beds. She felt tired and decided she would like to sleep. Goldilocks tried to climb onto the very big bed, but it was too high. Next, she climbed onto the medium-sized bed. It was too soft. Finally, she lay down on the little bed. Mmm, it was just right, and soon she was fast asleep. Now it turns out that this little house belongs to a family of bears, and they had only been on a morning stroll to allow their porridge time to cool down. When the bears arrived home, they noticed something was odd. Daddy Bear looked at his porridge bowl and asked in a very deep voice, Who has been eating my porridge? Next, Mommy Bear looked at her medium-sized bowl and asked in her medium voice, Why, who has been eating my porridge? Finally, Baby Bear looked at his little bowl and asked in his little voice, Who has been eating my porridge and has eaten it all up? Next, the bears went to examine their chairs. Who has been sitting in my chair? asked Daddy Bear in his very deep voice. Next, Mommy Bear asked in her medium voice, Why, who's been sitting in my chair? Finally, Baby Bear asked in his little voice, Who's been sitting in my chair and has broken it? And Baby Bear began to cry. Then, the bears went into the bedroom to examine their beds. Daddy Bear asked in his very deep voice, Who has been lying in my bed? Next, Mommy Bear asked in her medium voice, Why, who has been lying in my bed? Baby Bear didn't need to ask, because he found Goldilocks sleeping in his bed. He shouted, Look, here she is! She's the one who ate my porridge and broke my chair! Here she is! The noise woke Goldilocks up, and when she saw the bears, she got an enormous fright. Goldilocks jumped out of bed, ran down the stairs and out the door. By the time the bears reached the door, Goldilocks had long gone. The three bears never saw her again. The End